again everyone from the front porch welcome to this cabin chat this one's gonna be a little bit different um, it's been quite a week on Main Street and I wanted to I thought it would be a good idea to use the cabin chat forum to just kind of answer some of the frequently asked questions that we've gotten here um, in the store uh, about what we're doing and how we're doing um, and basically what's going on now and kind of how we're going to move forward. So um, I, I guess it, it's probably best to just start with a recap um, of that day and, and kind of go forward to where we currently are right now. So I was woken up at 6 o'clock in the morning from a phone call, from several phone calls, as you can imagine, um, just from f some friends and, and some neighbors here um, letting us know, letting Cassie and I both know that uh, the M&M was on fire. So what I grabbed the literally the closest um, clothes that were next to my bed and drove an undisclosed speed down Park Street to get here um, and definitely was was greeted as you can imagine with what was an actual nightmare um, the when I got here the fire department the firefighters that were working here I kind of just grabbed the first person who didn't look terribly busy um, and they were generous enough with their time to, to let me kind of walk in, walk through the shop, uh, get downstairs and just kind of see what was going on. At that time we had Smoky Haze through the store, um, but as you I'm sure already know, the, the fire lasted uh, six or eight hours beyond that. So those were some pretty uneasy times. Um, definitely some moments that were like, whoa, we were, we were super scared. Um, but all in all, um, we uh, <clears throat> were in a pretty decent position. Where we sit currently um, is that we're open for business and um, just kind of couldn't be more thankful in, to be in the position that we currently are um, considering what a, what a disaster um, just for Main Street and our business community and, and what could have happened here and, and, and our heart goes out to the m and m and that whole family and their employees, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough for everybody. So, um, I don't think that I'm special in wanting to help in some way. So I ran into Selena, uh, the weekend kind of, um, cleaning up the alley a little bit. And we got to chatting about some of the, the ways that we could possibly help. And, um, and, and the crazy outpouring of, of wanting to help so um what we just decided is that uh, 5518 is is completely and totally set up to run a, an apparel fundraiser it's it's really easy and and i'm thankful to be in a position where i can take that off of of selena selena's plate and and start getting her kind of jump started into the into the fundraising so that's exactly what we did uh, i i opened up my computer sunday morning uh, we worked up a long live the M&M uh, design, put that on a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, and we're also selling some stickers. So please go to shop5518.com. 100% uh, of the proceeds are going to go uh, to Selena and the M&M uh, Rebuild Fund. Um, so that is one way that you guys can help. Um, we currently are doing a pre-order because they don't exist yet. Well, I ordered the fabrics as soon as possible when I got the green light from Selena. And um, so we are selling them right now, but we don't have them yet. Our expected delivery date uh, from the production crew is uh, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Um, so at that time, we'll, get, we'll contact you guys. You can come pick up your orders, and we're going to be shipping them out at that time as well. Um, we will also carry them in store for the foreseeable future. Uh, so if you don't, don't feel like you missed out on the pre-order because uh, we'll be carrying them for a while. Currently, right now, we are open for business uh, 12 to 6 during the week, 10 to 5 on, the, on Saturday, and then noon to 4 on Sunday. And we're doing a 10% off fire sale. In addition to that 10% off, we are matching whatever that uh, discount is, and, and we're going to be donating that also to the, to the um, rebuild efforts. Um, so please come on in. We could use a help kind of cycling through our, our inventory here. Uh, a little bit of help there goes a long way, as well as you're helping uh, the M&M efforts as well. I do want to thank everybody for uh, reaching out to me with all of their awesome fundraising ideas. 
Um, I am, however, not in charge of any of that. But what, uh, what I was told is to get those th ideas on record, um, please contact those contact the m m Facebook directly with those ideas and um, that crew is going to compile all those efforts uh, because some point in the future when the dust settles uh, there will be a big fundraising event and I think a lot of those ideas can can kind of come together for one big um, one big event that that has a lot of extra oomph to, to help them out um, so all your ideas are awesome keep them coming. Um, but send those over to the m, &M Facebook page. Um, thanks again, guys, for all of the support. Um, yeah, we're going to just, we're going to move on, and, and we're going to keep on keeping on and, and doing our best from here on out. Um, don't forget to buy a shirt or a hoodie or a sticker for the m, &M shop 5518com um, We're really just kind of grateful that we can be in a position to help. So thanks for joining us. Um, I wish we didn't have to have this uh, Kevin chat, but here we are. So we will talk to you soon. Thanks for coming.